Hi all, welcome. In this video, we will see how to read a uh, uh, fixer's data. So, in Cypress, uh, uh, when you create a Cypress project, um, you will get uh, multiple folders, right? So there, uh, if you see the folder structure there, uh, uh, there you can see the fixer's uh, folder. There, uh, you can place uh, any kind of uh, files. There, you can place images. Uh, JSON files or any kind of files and then uh, you can read that uh, files uh, in our tests uh, depends on your need okay so here uh, we are having uh, example.json file uh, which is having uh, three properties so how we can read um, uh, this uh, data uh, in our um, uh, test cases uh, so mostly uh, this uh, json uh, file uh, in fixers we will use to prepare some uh, keep some uh, test data and uh, uh, test data in the sense like some username passwords uh, or uh, if, if your application is supporting uh, multiple languages uh, uh, that uh, text uh, depend depending on uh, uh, when you are changing the languages and uh, you need to test multiple languages so we'll keep that um, uh, multi-language text in uh, uh, json file as a key property values and then we will verify that data so uh, but uh, we can use this fixers folder to keep uh, any kind of data and you can read um, uh, any kind of files also like images uh, all types of images and other types of uh, uh, file types also like txt files and everything okay um, but in this video we will see uh, how to read um, this uh, json file uh, specially okay uh, so for that i am creating a um, fixers.cy.js uh, spec file and then in uh, def describe fixers Let's see and then okay um Let's create a test case um, and see um, read fixers data. Okay, so here uh, to read a uh, uh, fixers file, we can use cy dot fixers uh, uh, command, and you need to pass the file name here. Okay, here in this case we are having a file name as example.json. So I am giving a file name as example.json. And uh, you can save that uh, with some alias. And then you can use uh, in uh, uh, later later stages. So I am giving it as example data. Okay, in the next uh, steps I can uh, read that data. Okay, see why that get as I have given alias. Um, I'm giving it as example data and then I'll get uh, this as uh, some kind of uh, let's say a response data and uh, you can validate if you want so uh, cy dot uh, wrap and it's uh, rest data and you can see it's you can see we can uh, to read the properties uh, uh, you can you can use it so um, so i have created a video how we can use its uh, uh, command uh, you can uh, check my video so there uh, i'm reading uh, email and uh, it should be equal to the email id that we are providing uh, uh, in the properties file okay so in this way we can um, uh, read the file so let's um, execute and see what is the output and uh, whether this test will get succeeded or uh, succeed or not so for that i'm navigating here and then um, i'm clicking on uh, fixers.cy.js see here um, uh, it was very quick and um, the data that we are validating is uh, assertion is passed here.
So let's write uh, one more test case. Uh, okay, so uh, this fix search data we can uh, get um, uh, by using um, uh, this keyword also. Uh, reading fixer data using this keyword. So whenever you are using uh, this keyword, um, uh, instead of um, uh, arrow function, we need to use a function keyword here. Okay. So function keyword and um, here we need to use the data. But um, yeah, uh, instead of uh, uh, getting this uh, uh, value here, what we can do is um we need to write uh, some uh, other other uh, we need to get the value in uh, a different way so there let's see why dot wrap and uh, then can write a test in a um, uh, different ways also okay so so in this case, uh, let's um, let's get the data and um, uh, validate uh, uh, or, or print print the data in console and see whether we are getting a data or not. Cy dot log and uh, what we are going to print is this dot uh, example data dot and you can see uh, let, let's print this body value okay so if i print that one and if you see in the second test case using keyword uh, whenever uh, when we log that data it has printed fixers uh, a value that is present in the body so you can see uh, in the example that json file uh, so this is the text and the same text is printed so if you wanted to do a validation then uh, you can do um, a validation or assertions or something like that okay so we can use a fixers also to read a json file there is another way um, where you can um, uh, read a, a json file from the fixers so you can directly import uh, uh, data from slash fixers and then example.json okay so you can directly import using import command and you can give some name uh, in this way also you can import so let's uh, use this uh, to access the uh, web page let's create uh, some test data here and then uh, access our web page so for that uh, what i'm going to do is user um, and I'm creating an object username and uh, username is uh, admin and then uh, password uh, password is admin one two three so let's read this property and send uh, properties and send uh, this data uh, uh, to log into the application okay so I'm creating a third test case in this year. Log into application by reading username and password from fixtures. Okay. So <clears throat> as we have already created a, a login. Uh, custom command there what we can do is uh, we can directly use data dot user uh, this is the user object and then we can pass a username as a second argument we need to pass data dot user dot password okay so in this way you can uh, uh, log into the application and if you wanted to uh, click on um, uh, recruitment tab cy dot contains uh, recruitment and then you can click on it just to verify whether uh, it is navigating su navigated uh, uh, successfully and click on that recruitment tab or not 
okay so once i save this file and if you see I got a web page and uh, uh, the data is also loaded um, uh, properly and um, after loading uh, from dashboard to click uh, we find a recruitment and uh, I click on a recruitment you see here uh, there uh, we have read the prop we have read the properties um, uh, from fixers file a username is admin and password is admin123 so we have not directly hard coded um, uh those username and password uh, uh, in the uh, spec file we have uh, we have read that from um, uh, fixers properties fixers uh, json file and uh, send it as a parameters okay in this way you can use um, uh, fixers so here i have shown only uh, example.json file but um, uh, you can read um, uh, any file uh, any format file uh, any type of format file uh, from the fixers. Thank you.